Looks like up. we can take this enemy down fast. What to do here? I'll put them down. My fingers on the table. Get a nice hit! Bugs, you're on a roll! Let's of course. Let's do this. Wipe them out. Now. I'll cut them down. All right. Wipe them out. I'll slice you into pieces. Insolence. I'll cut them down. Okay. With this. I think you can evade this. Ugh. A successful attack. Tremble before us. Seriously, no new enemies remaining! You 
you can do it. Ready. Get ready. Now. Wipe them out. Leave it to me. What to do here? Wipe them out! Leave it to me! I'm perfectly ready. Okay, boss! No problems there! Time to raise the curtain! Wipe them out! Nice one, Inari! I commend your skill! Won't miss! Boss's shots have landed! Impressive! Now, I'm straight! All too easy. Let's keep moving. Don't you think we should follow her lead? I agree. I know it's frustrating, but we need to retreat for now. Take care that we're not separated. This way. Follow me. We made it. We'll be safe here. Phew. We managed to lose them. Wait. Isn't this... Back in LeBlanc? Who would have thought it'd be here, too? Oh, are you acquainted with this place? 
Uh, technically we are, but... <sighs> oh, finally caught up. Oh, that sprint again. Give me side cramps. Oh. Hmm? Is something wrong? Wait, wait, it's this place again? The part where we're shocked is already over, Pops. I wonder, could our cognition have something to do with this? That's all I can think of. But it still doesn't explain what it's doing here. Oh. Hey, is your brain fried again? No, I'm all right. Well, I'm certainly baffled, but there's something vaguely familiar about this coffee shop. Perhaps even nostalgic. Uh, no, my mind must be playing tricks on me. Please, forget it. Feel free to come inside. Allow me to show you around. This way, please. The inside's just like LeBlanc, too. First, allow me to thank you all for saving me. My name is Yuki. I am the proprietress of this tea house. Forgive me if this is rude, but you don't seem to be from around here. Oh, and your manner of dress appears to have changed as well. Oh, right. I guess we should tell you about ourselves. Yes, I agree. To start off. Um, so, in other words, you come from a far-off land where you engage in phantom thievery. And now you're looking for a way to return home. Yes, that sounds about right. Well, I should add that I'm a bit of an exception. <sighs> hmm? Is something wrong? No, I just feel as though I've seen your face somewhere before. I probably shouldn't be saying this, but... I'm supposedly a wanted criminal. Perhaps you recognize me from the posters throughout town? Oh, yes, that must be it. I never thought I'd see you in person. In that case, you never know where Yoshiki's eyes may be. So for now, please take this. Oh, it must be a disguise, right? It should be useful. <gasps> it really suits you. <laughs> She's right! Looks good on you, Pops! Yep, <laughs> totally suits you. <laughs> They'll never figure out who you are now. This is ridiculous. Half of my face is still showing. In fact, I look even more like a common thief now. A disguise is supposed to... Let's get back on topic. So, Yuki-san, we've got a question for you. Who is this Yoshiki guy? Yoshiki is the general who leads... No, who controls this country. His conduct may very well make him a dictator. Anyone who even slightly defies Yoshiki will be captured by his eyes. You've said it before, but what eyes? They're likely surveillance cameras. I saw them in the town when we ran away. That is correct. He says he uses them for people's safety, but it's only an excuse for his surveillance. So if Lord Yoshiki isn't happy with someone, he'll have them arrested with no questions asked, huh? Yes. Could everyone gather around? Yes, Lady Yuki? Huh? Is that... No, it's not one of the Rebel Corps. But there are similarities. They are the citizens of this country who have become victims of Yoshiki's reign. Some of us were falsely accused of crimes. And some had their families taken away. Ever since we lost our homes, Lady Yuki has kindly let us shelter here. However, it caught Yoshiki's attention which is why his men interrogated me. Okay, I think I get the gist now. More citizens being exploited by a tyrannical ruler. Just like the last world. Last time, Marie ended up being your fiancé. Does Yoshiki ring any bells? Sorry, but not at the moment. Also, there's one other thing I'd like to ask. Yuki-san, how do the people in this world feel about Yoshiki? Despite how badly everyone is treated, the town still appears to be somewhat peaceful. Well, that's because... That's... Everyone, look outside!
Oh, ho, ho. I'm pleased to see you all quietly gathered here. Excellent! All citizens who are righteous and happy exemplify a beautiful state of perfect harmony. And thus, unhappy citizens are truly nothing but useless, no, injurious to this country. Now tell me, are you all happy? Hey, what was that? Don't tell me that weird blowhard was... That's Yoshiki. He's the general who rules this country. Ah. Such joy to see my citizens display their love for me. Today, once again, peace reigns in my country as it should. Yes, sir. Only possible because of your love, Lord Yoshiki. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're exactly right. Yes, this is real. Lord Yoshiki, what do you think you're doing? Can't you see Lord Yoshiki is speaking? Oh, it's quite all right. Go on and speak. Yes, sir. Well, some time ago, my family had the honor of being selected to join your labor of love. But many moons have passed, and they still haven't returned. Hey! Watch your mouth! Are you objecting to Lord Yoshiki's methods? Uh, of course not! I, I would never! I, I, I just... I miss my family. Well, this simply won't do. All citizens of my country are my family. In other words, your family is my family, and I will not let you endure such sorrow. So, they can come home? Oh, I know. How about this? You may also participate in the labor of love. That way, you and your family can be together again. Isn't that nice? You really let me see my family again? Why, of course. I'll make the arrangements immediately. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Lord Yoshiki, always so compassionate. His love really is endless. Now listen carefully. Remember that my love will always watch over you. Yes, to see is to love, and these eyes of love see all. <laughs> As you can see, this is the current situation in our country. On the surface, Yoshiki serves as a well-meaning ruler. That surface seems to be paper-thin as is. Yes. It is all merely a false pretense Yoshiki uses to serve his own ends. He claims the cameras are for safety, and that he takes people away to protect them. However, he only wants to be rid of any potential dissent that threatens his power. He mentioned something about a labor of love, but that's gotta be... It is exactly as you fear. Though he calls it love, people are actually taken to a forced labor camp. Once he takes them, most never return. <sighs> How do you know so much, Yuki-san? It's because I myself had to flee from Yoshiki's castle. After learning of Yoshiki's crooked ways, Miss Yuki took us with her and escaped. Yet, I was only able to bring a few people with me. The rest are still... Hey, but if you know the crap he's been doing, why don't you tell everybody? Well, you see... Even if you spread the truth, the people think so highly of his love that they wouldn't believe you. You're exactly right. There's no point trying to convince them with words. They need to witness it with their own eyes. That's why all I can do for now is hide these citizens here. Oh, man. This is even more troublesome than Marie's kingdom. 
kept going on about love, but he's nothing more than a con man, huh? Don't forget about the slavery, too! <sighs> he's a dictator who exploits his people. I'll never forgive him! Right? <laughs> that obvious? Let's just say you tend to act before you think when it comes to injustice. I'm worried you'll charge into action all on your own. Uh, hey! I wouldn't do anything that stupid, you know. We just got here, and I still haven't witnessed everything firsthand. But if it's as Yuki says, and these injustices are being committed... <sighs> no. We can't lose sight of our purpose. The goal of the Phantom Thieves is still to return to your original world, correct? So in that case, I'm here to help you make that happen. We appreciate it. But you can't exactly say Yoshiki is entirely unrelated to our goal, right? What do you mean? It didn't bring us home, but the door we used to get here was in Mari's castle. Basically, because she was the ruler of that kingdom, the door was in her place. So if we followed that logic, it wouldn't be strange if there was also a door in Yoshiki's place. That's true. We don't have any leads, so it might be worth investigating. Furthermore, there's a good chance that Yoshiki is already watching us. Because of the cameras, the chances of resolving this peacefully are... near non-existent. Well, they weren't swayed by my peace talk. So it comes to this again. Basically, we're saying that picking a bone with Yoshiki suits us just fine. You guys... Yes, I agree. Bring it on, Yoshiki! Hey, don't get the wrong idea. We'll only fight if we absolutely can't avoid it. And... Yeah, yeah, I know. What was that half-hearted response? You're too easy to read. Oh, excuse me. May I have a moment? Do you all intend to fight Yoshiki and the Aizen Squad? Uh, Aizen Squad? They work for Yoshiki, and they're responsible for keeping the public order. However, all they do is control people through surveillance and violence. Which means, the fight we just had was with... Yes. They were members of the Aizen Squad. As you have seen, they'll rush in if they sense anything amiss in town. This may be a bit difficult. If we move recklessly, we'll cause a commotion like we did earlier. We'll have to do something about those cameras first. Any ideas, Butaba? Hmm... Well, if there are cameras throughout the entire town, it's unlikely there's only one surveillance site. They would need to have several places around town where they can monitor the footage from the cameras. If I can hack into the system from there, I might be able to blow up the entire network! Network system in Bakumatsu-era Japan? Nope, I won't think about it. Yuki-san, do you know where these surveillance sites might be? I think so. The Aizen Squad has several bases located inside the town. So, if we're going to make a move, we need to target there first. Please wait. Do you really intend to fight the Aizen Squad? We're prepared to if we must. Oh, but we won't involve you or the citizens. Oh. Miss Yuki, maybe they could... Yes, you're right. From what I've seen, it would appear you're all quite skilled in combat. Because of that, I would like to ask you all for a favor. There are rumors of another labor camp at the Aizen Squad base, much like the one at the castle. If the rumors are true, I'd like you to free the people imprisoned there. There's even a chance my family might be there! Please, could you lend us your strength? So that's how it is. What do you say? I knew you'd say that. I agree. In addition, we still owe Yuki for saving us. I'm on board too. Let's bust them all out of there in one go. Wait, really? Thank you very much. I'd like to offer my thanks as well. Of course, I will also do my best to assist you. Although you are all very skilled, the Aizen Squad has far too many members. It would be unwise to fight them head on. Then you have a plan? Yes, though it will require a bit of traveling. Once your preparations are finished, I can show you the way. Looks like we're gonna leave the hideout. Well, let's make sure we're prepared for anything. Thank you 
for your efforts. May I have a moment? Hmm. I'm counting on you. Time to write. Well, hold on. I did it! What shall you do? You may not see it now, but soon you will know what you must do in this world. I'm so you wish to perform a fusion. Now then, make your decision. Are you finished? What would you like to do? Would you like to look at the Persona Compendium? Do you wish to register a Persona? Then please take a look. Please read this. You wish to withdraw this one moment, please. Are you finished? Do you wish to perform a fusion? Now then, make your decision. Which persona will you choose? Is this persona... Please, wait just a moment.
Is this persona? One moment, please. like to do which persona will you choose what would you like to do which persona will you choose what would you like to do which persona will you choose what would you like to do which persona will you choose are you finished? The awakening of a new power. Which persona will you choose? Now then, make your decision. One moment, please. Please, wait just a moment. One moment, please. Is this persona? Please, wait just a moment.
Is this for some one moment, please? Is this for please wait just a moment? What would you like to do? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would Are you finished? Time to write. How about something more powerful? Please, take your time. Everything good? All right, here you go.
You have a thanks for your purchase. Everything good? All right, here you go. You have a good eye. Oh, okay. Everything. Thanks for your purchase. Stop by anytime. Dismantle a weapon. Which weapon do you choose? like to do. Well then, have a pleasant day. Have a Come back again later. Very well. Let us be off. But it's not like we're gonna go in and fight him, right? So, what are we doing exactly? Uh, forgive me. I still haven't explained the details yet, have I? Since we need to stop the surveillance cameras and rescue the citizens, I believe infiltration is our best option. Usually that's not a problem for us, but what about the security? The Eisen Squad makes short work of anyone who looks suspicious. However, if you're less conspicuous, then you may have a chance. Um, what do you mean? Do we just walk right in through the front door? Yes, precisely. Needless to say, you can't go in looking the way that you do. So, you'll slip past the security in disguises that won't arouse their suspicion. Oh, I get it. So that's where we're headed, huh? Yes, we're going to get you all fitted in some kimonos. Thankfully, I know of a silk shop that should be willing to help us. Oh, disguises! This is kind of exciting! You bet it is! When Lady On sees me decked out like a samurai! <laughs> all right! 
and let's get going. Our destination is very close. Once we get to the end of the street... <gasps> Wait, stop! Please stop! I beg your forgiveness. Silence! Now turn back to me! Those guys are members of the Aizen Squad, aren't they? Yes. Though, it doesn't sound like they're looking for us. That's... It's the duty of every citizen to make an offering in return for Lord Yoshiki's love! You dare refuse to pay up? It's just... the financial strain is becoming... Since my husband's at the labor of love, I can barely make ends meet, sir. <laughs> what a sorry excuse. I'll have to teach you what happens to those who disregard Lord Kyoshiki's love. Authority figures threatening their citizens in broad daylight. How disgusting. I'm right there with you. Why the hell is everyone just standing around watching? Help her out! Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. Poor thing. But I guess it can't be helped. That's right. As long as we have Lord Yoshiki's love, this is only natural. How is this natural? They're clearly crossing the line! We can't let this slide! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! On my behalf as well. Please help them. We're not getting out of it this time. However, due to the cameras, we need to make this quick. <laughs> Who do you think we are? Let's make short work of this, guys! to do here. Oh. 
Collect them out. Leave it to me. What to do here? I'm perfectly ready. Get ready. Yes. Let's do this. Time for my persona. <laughs> what to do here? It's show time. I'm perfectly ready. Reinforcements? Seriously? Two enemies left. Don't let your guard down. Get ready. All right. Wipe them out. Leave it to me. Now then. The enemy is in my sights. <laughs> Won't miss. Perfectly ready. Let's do this. What to do here? I'll cut them down. Get ready. What to do here? I'll cut them down. With this. That's a hit! Great nice. job, Inari! Tremble before it! <laughs> Seems they were no match for us. It's all right now. You're not hurt, are you? Uh, who are you? I will explain more along the way, but we need to leave now. You're Lady Yuki! Huh? You two know each other? It is certainly a strange coincidence, but this lady is in fact the owner of the silk shop we're headed to. You must have your reasons for coming here. Please, follow me. Alright everyone, just this way please. Please forgive me for asking so much of you. As I said on our way here, we need you to prepare some clothes for us. My pleasure. In that case, I'll take everyone's measurements straight away. I'll start with the short gentleman over there. Come this way, please. Who are you calling short? It's not like you all are any taller. Hmm. <sighs> Arena-chan, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. It's just... This town's in really bad shape, isn't it? With the Rebel Corps, we rebelled against our ruler, Mariae, because we'd had enough. So it made sense that there'd be some conflict. But it's different here. Despite following Yoshiki's orders, they're still being treated like... As mentioned, if the people have been led to believe that this is right, even more tragic than if they were just being oppressed. Tragic, huh? Do you think the citizens really believe that they're being treated right? It's hard to say. Sometimes wanting to believe in something can cloud the mind's eye. But even a small spark of doubt should make it impossible to stay completely unaware. I was once that way. Fox. You too. Forgive me for interrupting, but 
have me take your measurements as well. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but could I ask you a question? Huh? Uh, yes, of course. So, about what just happened and how people said it was only natural. Have you ever thought that it was even the slightest bit? My dear, all I do is run my humble silk shop. I have no complaints about my country. My only wish is to live peacefully under Lord Yoshiki's protection. I see. However, you never know where Lord Yoshiki's eyes may be. Please listen to me as I think aloud. A world without conflict is the best. Of that, I'm certain. I would also like to believe in Lord Yoshiki. I'd like to, but... Those who are taken away never return. And those left behind suffer more and more each day. I heard from Lady Yuki that you intend to fight the Aizen Squad. If it's all true, then please, you must save them! Help us to see the truth for ourselves! Yeah, we'll bring them back no matter what it takes. Thank you for being honest with me. The truth, huh? Hey, Oracle, do you have a minute? Hmm? What's up? About those cameras around town. I fear I've digressed too much. It'd be best to get back to work. Next up is the gentleman with the curly hair. Time for your measurements. Trade, huh? Satire is that of fierce warriors in the battlefield, fighting for their ideals. <laughs> Not bad at all. Seriously likes these clothes. I mean, it's not even that different from what he usually wears. Huh? You're dressed like a samurai too? Apparently she was a little short on inventory. But I've always kind of admired this look, so I wanted to try it. Yeah, you're looking very dignified, Lady On. Also, is it just me, or am I the odd one out here? Hmm. Well, I think it's cute. You look like a rice ball. Oh, really? Well, I guess it's fine then. <laughs> We've finished dressing everyone. This way, please. Wow. Look at that. I am a little uneasy about this. Do I look strange? No, it looks great on you. Oh, but the obi might be a little loose. There. Ah! Uh, Please be a little more gentle. So this is what it's like to be a geisha. Is this how you do that traditional ritual, Futaba? Yep. Now just say, Please stop, my lord! And you've got it. So, did I nail it? You are all like flowers that brighten the festivities of any banquet. But it can still be improved. I can further draw out your inner beauty as I... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Hands off, thanks. Yuki-san, isn't there something off about my disguise? No, no, not at all. You look awesome, Mr. Oh. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better petty thief. Quite the talent you've got there. What talent? I'm still going to end up behind bars looking like this. You don't like it? I'm sorry. I really do think it suits you quite nicely. Oh, no, it's not that. I was just hoping for something a bit more natural. Natural? Oh, then perhaps if you covered your body in leaves. Uh, that's not really what I meant. Like Toshiro just can't win against Yuki-san, can he? Oh, what's it called? He's the type of guy who lets the woman wear the breeches. You mean pants? So, going back to our plan. While all of you were preparing, Yuki-san and I discussed how to proceed. I'm going to explain the entire operation, so listen carefully. Yeah, we can't really just charge in like this, so what are we gonna do? I've got it all planned. But first, hear me out. 
I call it. Operation Double Pincer Attack Mach 2. This name's super lame too, but in a totally different way. Looks like this guy's got his own problems coming up with names. For this operation, we'll split up into two teams. The diversion team will pose as Eisen Squad members and use the front entrance. That'll be Sakamoto Kun's group as the Eisen Squad and Nijima Kun's group as the Geishas. It would be great if you could come up with an excuse to throw a banquet. If that goes according to plan, then you can ask around for info about the facility. There should probably be a control room somewhere in the building. And also a labor camp if the rumors turn out to be true. So, we'll infiltrate the Eisen squad and distract them while collecting intel, correct? Yes, and the team sneaking in through the back entrance will be... Morgana-kun, Sakura-kun, myself, and... Yuki-san. Yuki-san too? Yes, you're doing this for our sakes. I can't simply sit by and do nothing. I know all about this town, so I should be able to help, at least a little bit. I tried to stop her as well, but she wouldn't listen. In any case, our infiltration team will find an opening to sneak into their base. Our team's objective is to rescue the citizens and disable the cameras. Once we get into that control room, we've got this in the bag. Once we achieve our goal, we'll leave immediately. The diversion team will then also retreat. Well, that sums up the operation. Any questions? Excellent. In that case, let Operation Double Pincer Attack Mach 2 commence! Honestly, my only objection is to that operation name. Oh, there is one important detail I forgot to mention. This plan hinges on the assumption it will all go well, but you may very well run into trouble. If you ever feel like you're in danger, make sure to retreat. Is that clear? Uh, well, why are you looking at me? Because clearly you need to hear this the most. Need I mention your prior record? If you act recklessly again, it could endanger the success of the operation. Well, do you get it now, huh? Yeah, yeah. What? What's with this attitude of yours? Ah, this is old man Kasukabe harassment. There's no such thing! That's it. Today, I'm going to speak my mind. You're... Those two seem to get along real well, don't they? <laughs> All right, everyone. We should return to my tea house for now. Yeah, it'd really help us out if we could use your place as our hideout. Infiltrating an enemy base will be very dangerous. So please use my shop to prepare yourselves as much as possible. Be sure to wear these disguises whenever you go into town as well. Not exactly.
No, well, that's... Really? Yeah. All right. Not quite. Oh. Huh? That's enough.
Please come back again later. What should we choose? See. Of course. Really? Hey. Well. Good idea. You've done well. <laughs> what to do here? I'm perfectly ready. Let's do this. All right. I'll take care of this. <laughs> Do here. Wipe them out. Let's do this. All right. I'm perfectly ready. Just leave it to me. I'll cut you down. Hit him hard. A successful attack. I'll take care of 
Take care of this. This is gonna hurt. Nothing but a stain oh. on my sword! You're doing great! Leave it to me! Mm. What to do here? Wipe them out. Of Let's course. All right. I'm perfectly ready. Get ready. Now then. Cut them down. Mm. Leave it to me. All right. Wipe them out. Wipe them out. All right. That Leave sounds good. I'm perfectly ready.
What to do here? Put them down. Leave it to me. All right. I'll take care of this. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Perfectly ready. Let's do this. What to do here? Wipe them out. to do here. You down. Ah! Nice. Keep it up. That Get sounds ready. good. What to do here? Wipe them out. Tremble before us.
perfectly ready. You get no mercy! What to do here? Them out. Let's do this. Now, I'll cut them down. I'll take care of Hold this. Now. Oh. Actually, <laughs> let's go back. We sure have a lot of choices. Okay. Hey. Mm. Ah. What should I do? Ah! 
All right, let's go. Wipe them out! them out. Better get ready. I'm perfectly ready. I'll cut you down. Now it's my turn. Put a stain upon my sword. Better get ready. Get a load of this. <laughs> Too easy.
real? What? Jot that down. So this must be their base. Now that we're actually here, I'm a little nervous. Um, we're trying to pass off as Eisen Squad members, right? That's the plan. Yuki gave us some sake to use as well. The idea is for us to give them the sake so we can hold a banquet. Oh, and some of these have water in them instead of sake, just in case. Don't get any ideas. All right, now let's roll. Wait, what are we supposed to say to them? Um, ahoy? We have a search warrant? Yeah, quit overthinking it. Those are way off. Ahoy! We come with search warrants! Uh, you're here to cause trouble! Please forgive our rudeness, sir. We are Lord Yoshiki's humble servants. Lord Yoshiki's servants? Indeed, sir. We came on his behalf to express his gratitude for your daily toil. The Aizen Squad members you see here were sent to escort us. Disregard Lord Yoshiki's thoughtfulness. Very well. Follow me. That was insane, Noir. You're the best. Thanks for saving our necks. Shh. You're welcome. Let's stay in character for now, okay? Uh, Roger that. I beg of thee. Forgive me. <laughs> Let's just move on, shall we? Gotta mention Yoshiki's name and they'll believe anything. Just goes to show how absolute Yoshiki's control over this world is. Okay, now that we're in, we just need some intel. Right. 
But wouldn't it look strange if we all went around asking together? Hmm. Having smaller groups may allow us to blend in and gather more information. Then let's separate into groups according to our roles. Eyes and squad, and geishas. You can decide which group to join, Joker. Do whatever you think is best. All right, we'll start the... See the rest of you later, then. Don't push yourselves, okay? Well, it's fine that we split up, but... Hey, you there! Drinking? This stuff is from Lord Yoshiki! Refuse it and you'll have to commit seppuku! <laughs> These guys are all total lightweights! They may look in our favor, though, since they're less likely to notice suspicious behavior. Yeah, then we need to pull our own weight, too. Can't just rely on Noir forever. I mean, it's just a little acting job to get some info. <laughs> He's a geek. Basically the same as what I did before at Fox's house, right? Oh, that. Right, that. Hey, what's with that reaction? Clear my name? Clear it from what? Hey, what's all the fuss about over there? You really want to commit some fuku? I'll show you just how much I've improved. Um, hey! So, like, I have a question? Nope, this ain't working. Shut up! So, I was, like, kinda hoping to learn about the floor plan of this building, <laughs> you know? Oh, you're pretty drunk, huh? All right! I think it would be best to come up with a different plan. Roll with it? Ah, oh, I see. Please excuse my friend. As you can see, he's quite drunk. I'd like to find him a place to rest for a bit. Hey! Uh, I haven't even had any! Hold on, let's have some faith in him. I wish I could, but he tends to sleepwalk when he's drunk, you see. I would hate for him to ruin the festivities if he begins acting up. It would be best to put him somewhere isolated, like that place. Huh? You talking about the basement? But you know that's where we keep those townspeople, right? Oh, I'm like so drunk. I'll probably mess up like so much stuff if you don't lock me up. Yeah, or else he might do something to make Lord Yoshiki lose face, you know? Fine. Let's take him through the usual secret entrance. Right, the secret entrance. <laughs> Where is that again? Huh? It's obviously the revolving door in the pillar of the rear entrance gate. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's the door in the floor of the rear entrance gate, right? Yeah, sure. I was like you looking for <gasps> Don't tell me you're... Here's the alcohol has gotten to him as well. Nice going, Fox. Did it! Oh, that's right. Oracle, can you hear me? Control rooms in the location I just said. It sounds like they also have the townspeople in prison there. And there you have it. The rest is yours, okay? Hey, Oracle. Any word from the others? Not yet, but they're working on it. Huh. You seem rather tense. Well, yes. I find it very hard to imagine everything will go smoothly. <laughs> you have a big heart, don't you, Toshiro-san? Well, I wouldn't exactly say I'm trying to be considerate. The others, especially Arena, often behave far differently from what I expect. Seeing that just makes me feel so restless. 
What do you mean? It's just... I know Arena has valid reasons for acting how she does, but her habit of obstinately rushing headfirst into things is concerning. If you don't take the time to be rational, there could be irreversible consequences. Rushing in headfirst? I see. Is it possible you envy her for being able to do that? Huh? Forgive me. You just seem to give me that impression. When I see Arena-san and the others taking a stand for what they believe in, I think it's quite a wonderful sight. You must feel the same, Toshiro-san. Oh, but I suppose it's not my place to say such things. I... Aha! Uh -huh. Roger that! Leave it to me! Booyah! We've got the location! Sounds like they have the citizens in prison there, too! Is everyone ready? Yeah, let's roll! We should get going. Yuki-san, please take care of yourself, too. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been a while. I hope Oracle's group is okay. We just have to wait and believe in them. Let's buy them as much time as we can. Yes. Ideally, we'll be able to escape before they catch on to us, but... Hey! You! What the hell are you doing? I... I'm so sorry, sir! Please forgive me! Is that...? You spilled my sake and you think you're gonna get off with an apology? You wanna go back to the basement that badly, huh? Lord Yoshiki is a burden? No, I wouldn't dare. Please, forgive me, sir. Even here, they're still... Oracle, we've got some trouble. How much longer? Just a little more. Right past this door and... Wait, a lock? Sorry, just hang tight for now. Hey, let's have some fun and make this guy squeal, huh? We have to stop them. Wait, I, I know how you feel, but we can't... Please, have mercy on me! <laughs> Is someone a little scared? All of you just need to shut up and quit your pitiful whining! <laughs> can't you fools understand? You're nothing without Lord Yoshiki's love! Maybe some punishment will help get that through your thick skull! Uh, this is looking really bad. How much longer, Oracle? Oh, I'm so close! I just gotta do something about this password! Sorry, but I'm borrowing this for a moment. Whoa! Hey, Pops! What are you... Huh? Huh? You got a problem, girl? <laughs> all right! Looks like we're all set on our end! Ball's in your court, guys! You want me to punish you too? <laughs> Shut up, you sick bastard! Ah! How's the little geisha doing? I'll cut you down! <laughs> Silence. You were the first to break the code of chivalry, were you not? <laughs> yeah! Now this is more like it!
Wiped them out. What to do here? Wipe them out. Time to raise the curtain. All right. I'll show no mercy. Squeal like a pig. She defeated Greta. Beautiful, Pepper. What to do here? Wipe them out. I am now. Come on. So cold. What to do here? Fire! Fire! Always, Joker. You got him. It's 
Wipe them out! Excellent position! Persona! Boss. Come, my other self! I can still fight!
I'm perfectly ready. I'll cut you down! What? You're doing great! I can still fight. Whip them into shape! So graceful! Panther's living up to her name! Time I get serious! <laughs> Stay calm. Persona! What? Let us be. Still fight. I'll show no mercy. Persona! What disrespect! I'll cut them down. I am thou. Wipe them out, Goemon! <laughs> Stay calm. Now's the time! Let's go! Take this! It's a It's all going according to plan. Let's retreat for now. Ooh, we should be safe now, right? I wonder if Toshiro and the others are okay. All that mayhem should have given them the opportunity to slip out, but still... Hey! Is everyone safe? You guys really made a scene back there. Everything went swimmingly on our end, thanks to you. We freed all the imprisoned people and returned them to their families. We took out the enemy base, too. That should do us some good. Great job on that, Toshiro. Your Operation Smack Crackle Pinch was a huge success. I forgot the real name already, but that wasn't it, right? <laughs> What's the deal, Toshiro? You cramping up already? worked without a hitch, didn't it? So why not take the win already? Huh? Right. Oh, that's right! I almost forgot. I set up one last surprise for everyone. Let me just give this a play here, and... Huh? Something's on the monitor! What's going on? Perhaps it's a message from Lord Yoshiki? Hope the people are ready for this bombshell special, Lord Yoshiki, Fraud of Love. I, I can't move anymore. Please, just a sip of water. No stopping you lazy bastards! You've got a ways to go to re-earn Lord Yoshiki's love! I'm begging you. Have mercy. Shut your trap and keep moving! This isn't what they said I'd be doing. I thought this was for love. What is this? Why are they doing that? It's a veritable portrait of hell. So this is the truth of his so-called love. When we snuck into the control room, I hacked into their system and nabbed some footage. Granted, it was all Queen's brilliant idea. I was only hoping to uncover the truth. This is even worse than I expected. No way. This can't be true. I mean, Lord Yoshiki wouldn't... He said our families were doing well. I believed that as long as my family was safe, I could endure anything the Aizen Squad did to me, but... <sighs> what am I supposed to believe now? And to think this is going on somewhere in Yoshiki's castle, too. We have to stop this! <laughs> I see you. Up there!
everyone! Your days of loveless behavior will end here and now! Uh, a giant Buddha came down from the sky? <laughs> it's way too freaking late to show up now, you creep! Oh, oh, oh! Such blatant disrespect. But you're forgiven. After all, thanks to this, I was finally able to find who I'm looking for. Found someone? Who are you talking about? Who is it, you ask? Oh, ho, 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 ho. That would be... Toshiro! <laughs> who the hell else could it possibly be? Damn ungrateful, good for nothing son of mine! What? Did you just. Oh dear, didn't you hear me? I was talking right to you. Toshiro Kasukabe. Are you listening, my foolish? Beloved son. Me? Father? Ah, oh, so you remember me now? <laughs> what kind of son gets his own father's face? Apologize, you hopeless moron! I want to reproach yourself! Beg! My forgiveness is what I'd like to say, but we'll let that slide for now. However, I'll never forgive you for taking off with that. Prepare to pay the price, you undutiful, pitiful excuse of a son! What are you... Um, there were definitely some interesting tidbits in that speech, but overall... Is he emotionally unstable or what? Like a teenager at the peak of puberty, am I right? <laughs> that hidden face of rage... must be Yoshiki's true nature. I don't know what you're talking about. Really, I have no idea! You need not feign ignorance, my boy. I know fully well. You're not the kind of person who would defy his father. <laughs> I'm the one who made you that way after all. You haven't forgotten, have you? That's not... Uh... Toshiro! Now hurry up and hand it over! Unless you want to fill your lungs in the depths of my watery grave of love. I come with a report for Lord Yoshiki. The hell you want, scum? <laughs> We've recovered control of the monitor that was hijacked by an unknown perpetrator. I don't give a damn about that. You want me to drown you too, huh? But, but there isn't much time left until the scheduled broadcast of I Love Haiku with Lord Yoshiki. Hmm. <laughs> now that just won't Everyone is waiting. My words of love I must return immediately to begin the broadcast. Ugh. Reluctant as I am, I must take my leave. <laughs> How hard-headed you are. You lack love, my son. A rich, boundless love is what you need. You'll have to excuse me, but my patriots of love shall tend to you now. Wait! Oh. Toshiro-san! Toshiro-san, stay with us! It's you! I see. Here I was wondering how they were so well prepared. So you've been helping them. <gasps> I don't know what kind of schemes you're concocting, but evidently you have yet to realize its futility. Surely, you must know that my people will never betray the love of their Lord Yoshiki! 
the citizenry seek my love from the very marrow of their bones, and I am gracious enough to pour it upon them. Well then, everyone present, I bid you good day! Oh! <laughs> and there he goes! <laughs> Jeez, what is up with that guy? Here they come. Get in formation, everyone! Jot that down. We're the trash mobs. Let's take them out. All right, let's do you this. You no mercy. Get ready. You'll get no mercy. I'll take care of this. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Better get ready. This ends now! I'm ready! This is a just throw it! Keep it up, queen! Get ready!
other half. You have no money. Yes. Five enemies left. Take them one at a time. Let's do this. Now it's my turn. Here I go. Get ready. take them out, but... More reinforcements could show up at any moment. We should retreat immediately. Yeah, Queen's right. Let's retreat, Joker. We'll regroup at the hideout. Things to buy here. Make sure you're well prepared. Everything good? All right, here you go.
You have a good eye. Thanks for your purchase. Everything good? All right, here you go. You have a thanks for your purchase. Come back soon. You wish to dismantle a weapon? Which one will you choose? Are you finished? Well then, have a pleasant day. Mm. Oh. Mm. Still. Excuse me. What about... Uh, uh. Oh, right. That's right. Situation. Wait, where's Yuki-san? Yuki-san went out into town. She wanted to check on the people we freed. She's quite kind-hearted, isn't she? We can tell her everything later. So, Toshiro, will you tell us what's going on? Yes. Just as he said, Yoshiki is my father. I remember everything. He is Yoshiki Kazukabe, a current member of the Diet. Your old man's a politician, too? Kasukabe. He's a diet member who doesn't attract much attention, but he's had a long-standing career. I've heard he even has a reputation for consensus building within his party. Yes, some people call him Buddha Kasukabe in admiration of his serene temperament. On the surface, that is. My father is obsessed with political power. Not being one for the spotlight, he tended to shy away from publicity. Which is why he sought to fulfill his desires by making me Prime Minister. When I was a child, he raised me very strictly. Not just academically. He drilled me on political etiquette and controlled my social interactions. If I failed to comply with his demands, he wouldn't hesitate to raise his hand against me. Even as a child, there were moments when I resented being born to such a family. My father's word was absolute. The thought of rebelling never even crossed my mind. Moreover, I had no one else to turn to. Ah, uh, what about your mom? She didn't help you? My mother was very frail. She passed away when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. To be honest, I can barely remember her. 
Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, I eventually became a diet member by riding on my father's coattails. Even now, I simply do what my father tells me to do. That still hasn't changed. If in my history, it's rather laughable that I could forget him. <laughs> However, there's something I still don't understand. From Yoshiki's... from your father's perspective, you were always an obedient son. So, why was he so upset with you? He was so desperate to find you, that he even said you were a wanted criminal. He seemed awfully enraged about something you ran off with. What was that about? <laughs> My father actually is a criminal. Following Representative Shido's downfall, my father finally decided to take action. He laid the groundwork to ensure that I would be nominated as the Prime Minister. I don't really get this stuff, but is it really that easy to do? Not under normal circumstances. However, my father took advantage of the political turmoil that's been going on since last year. He employed shady characters to intimidate representatives he had dirt on. He also went about wheeling and dealing a large amount of Marie's family's financial resources. If that's true, then he's guilty of extortion, blackmail, and bribery. All criminal offenses. And you're sure of this? I have documents he forged, voice recordings, and other hard evidence as well. I had a hunch my father rigged the election. Which is why I investigated. I still have the evidence which I secretly stole on hand. So... All you have to do is go public with that, and he can't control you anymore. I couldn't muster the courage to blow the whistle on him. My father's schemes were not out of the ordinary in the political world. Ending the political confusion with steady leadership was in everyone's best interest. Is what I kept telling myself. It's truly a shameful story. You're exactly right. Not speaking up makes me equally guilty. I won't talk my way out of it. Well, setting that aside for now. I think I finally get the gist. Yoshiki thinks you hid that evidence, so he's trying to get it back, right? No. I thought so too at first, but something still doesn't make sense. It's very unlikely that my father knows I stole the evidence of his crimes. First of all, he didn't show any signs of panic about his misdeeds potentially being exposed. Furthermore, I doubt the thought of me betraying him would have even crossed his mind. But why is he after you then? That's because... <sighs> it might be because I thought that he knew about it. The thought of my father questioning me about the evidence I stole fills me with terror. In other words, I think he knows because that's how I perceived it to be. So, if Toshiro's perception is reflected in Yoshiki, then that means... Uh, someone clue me in here. Then that means this kingdom is born out of Toshiro's cognition. Are you saying this part of the metaverse is Toshiro's? I believe that's the most pragmatic explanation. I should be the only one who knows I have the evidence, so it would all fit together. Although it could be possible that my father caught on to me in the real world. But the incident at the enemy base convinced me of my theory. The password. Oh, you mean the password you used to open the hidden door? Yeah, that was close. I still can't believe that door was actually giving me serious trouble. Oh, I get it. That was when... How's it looking, Oracle? Can you open it? Oh, this lock is a bit tougher than I expected. This guy is either really paranoid or a serious scaredy cat. Hey, let's have some fun and make this guy squeal, huh? This is getting bad. We have to stop them. Wait, I, I know how you feel, but we can't... Oh, no. It sounds like there's a tense situation going on over there. Damn it, I can't crack the password. Sorry, it's gonna take me a bit longer. Come on, we just need to get past this, and then we'll be able to expose all of Yoshiki's misdeeds. Misdeeds? Expose? Ugh. Uh, this is looking really bad. How much longer, Oracle? Oh, I'm so close. I just gotta do something about this password. 
Sorry, but I'm borrowing this for a moment. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Pops, what are you... Huh? I just need to input the password, right? This should do it. It opened! Way to go, Toshiro! You have an act for this kind of thing, too? No, that was just... All right! Looks like we're all set on our end! Ball's in your court, guys! I must have been able to open the door because I perceived myself exposing my father's crimes. Couldn't you have guessed the password because he's your father? My father is a cautious man. He would frequently change the password on these kinds of devices. Isn't it a little hard to believe that something I came up with at random was the right password? Well, that's... I have more evidence as well. There's also this place. LeBlanc. This place? What about it? I had a nagging feeling there was something familiar about LeBlanc. Then it hit me. I knew this place in the real world. My being the youngest candidate for Prime Minister caused some commotion. I was uncomfortable no matter where I went. I was overwhelmed every day, having to entertain visitors, meet other Diet members, and deal with the media. And one day, I stumbled upon LeBlanc in a back street. From then on, I went there to find refuge whenever I wanted to be alone. <laughs> yeah, it's so peaceful there that you can hardly tell they do business. So you're saying LeBlanc doesn't get customers? If the chief heard that, he'd be upset. Oh, <laughs> and the coffee there is exquisite. It's possible I ran into you all there before. Then why does this world exist? And how did you end up in it? I wish I knew. However, if my theory turns out to be true, then it means I've dragged you all into my own problems. I'm truly sorry. No need to apologize, man. That sort of thing doesn't bother us. Even if it turns out we're stuck here, we'll just work something out. Yeah, I mean, we're practically pros in metaverse combat by now. If we can't overcome this, then perhaps we were fated to be here. But if you haven't noticed, we don't give up easily. I mean, how can I just lay down and die when there's still so many sweets I want to try? Really? See, you're all very tough, aren't you? Well, we've been through a lot, so we're not going down without a fight. But don't sell yourself short, Toshiro. Huh? You discerned your father's motives and took action of your own volition. If you had kept quiet about it, then you would have remained his puppet. You couldn't overlook your father's crimes, so you wanted to make things right. Isn't that so? Huh. <laughs> but I didn't have the courage to. Not at the time, right? Think about it, Toshiro. This is the same as when you confronted Marie. Just like you said, even puppets have a backbone. Yes, you're right. <sighs> Phantom thieves, I have a favor to ask. You want us to do you a favor? Yes, I'd like to make a deal with you all. Even if this world is in my mind, I still can't manipulate it at will, right? For example, I can't just wish my way out of here. Yeah, that would probably be difficult. First of all, changing a person's heart is not an easy feat. Every time we steal someone's treasure, we're risking our lives. In that case, there's something I have to do. I'm not going to run from my father anymore. Not even from the version of him in this world. I need to see him again and settle the score. Will you lend me a hand, Phantom Thieves? In return, I give you my word that I'll indict my father for his crimes. I'll come clean with everything. I'll free the political world from corruption and... <sighs> no, I can't call this a deal. What you all would get in return is too ambiguous. I need a more tangible reward. Since you're Phantom Thieves, maybe some cash or jewels or even gold? Where would I get that kind of money? Would it even be legal? Ah, there must be something. 
So, what should we do? Huh? We'll fight by your side while we're here. In exchange, you'll indict your father for his crimes in the real world. That's the deal. We don't need anything else. You're the only one who can set your father straight. Yeah, if there's a grown adult out there who lost their way, we're counting on you to fix him up for us. I... I swear, I'll fulfill my promise. You have my word. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. And then it's a deal. <laughs> oh, Yuki-san! You came back! Yes, it seemed like you were discussing something important, so... Oh. I should explain things to you as well, Yuki-san. But... Well... How do I put this? It's all right. I only heard a little bit, but I was listening. Although I may not understand the finer details of your world, I know you want to win against your father, correct? Yes. Then it appears we have the same goal. Many people are still imprisoned in the basement of Yoshiki's castle. My only wish is to rescue them and rid the people of their suffering. So once again, could you please lend us your strength? Thank you very much. I'll be sure to help out as well. Well, I'm sure everyone is exhausted from all that we've been through. Let's stop this talk of battle for now and take a break. I'll make some tea for everyone. That sounds lovely, Yuki-san. All of you should get some rest. I'll start working on our next strategy. We need to act while the Aizen squad is still in disarray, so we don't have too much time to dally. Oh, right. If you're coming up with a strategy, I'd like to explain something to you first. Hmm? All right, let's talk over there. I think I'll have some tea and rest for a bit. Me too. It's about time we finally took a break. <laughs> I have some good tea leaves on hand, too. I'll bring it out once it's ready. You gotta be kidding. Mm. 
<laughs> really? I should write that down. Are you all well rested now? Yes. Especially thanks to Yuki-san's delicious tea. Oh, <laughs> it was my pleasure. Glad to hear it. We've finished creating our plan as well. Before we get into the details, though, let's go over the current situation. Sakura-kun, please tell everyone what you told me earlier. Aye, aye, sir. Back at the base, I was able to hack into the cameras and disable them. But the main control system must be in Yoshiki's castle, so I wasn't able to take it down entirely. So the town cameras are down for now, but we should expect them to be up and running again soon. Then we'll take this opportunity to charge in and... No, that's not going to work, is it? Yeah, that love general may be a psycho, but he's no idiot. If we charged in there now, we'd be playing right into his hands. After all, even if the town's cameras are disabled, we still have the castle's cameras to worry about. Not to mention, there are still far too many enemies. Our main objectives are taking down Yoshiki and rescuing the citizens in the castle's basement. If we do so, we'll need to attack the castle, but we have to be pragmatic about it. Ultimately, we need to figure out a way to fool Yoshiki's cameras. I do have a plan in mind. However, we'll need a significant amount of manpower to carry it out. Yuki-san? Your word seems to carry a lot of weight with the townspeople. Can you ask the people we just freed to help us? Well, that's... Well, asking them won't be a problem, of course, but... Perhaps it will be quicker if you see for yourselves. It should still be safe while the cameras are down. Please follow me. Lady Yuki! And those people behind you are... Uh, yes. These are the travelers responsible for your freedom. Thank you! Thank you! We are in your debt! I finally got to see my child again. Now we can go back to our quiet lives. Um, actually, there's something I wanted to mention. Mm. Yuki-san, if I may. I'm truly glad to see you all safe. You have my word that this will never happen to you or your families again. And to do that, I'd like to ask for your help in defeating Yoshiki once and for all. Defeat? Lord Yoshiki? No, that's impossible. The Aizen Squad will have our heads if we defy him. Leave them to us. We have many reliable comrades ready to fight alongside us. But we also can't succeed without your help. So, what do you say? Th that's... Yes, well, I'm not sure what the others will say. You've all realized that Yoshiki's so-called love is a facade, haven't you? You all saw the footage of what the people who were taken away are forced to deal with. If everyone rises up and takes a stand, we can put an end to all of this. <sighs> it's true that our present lives are not easy. The difficult times are indeed plentiful. So you agree? Maybe, but... But at least we're able to go on living. We've got no power to begin with anyhow. There's not much we can afford to want. And as long as we stay quiet, we're somehow able to scrape by. Besides, what will happen if we fail? Just thinking about how we might suffer even more frightens me to no end. So you see, we would rather... We would rather you just let us be. There's no other choice. We just have to accept things as they are. No way. So this is what Yuki-san meant? Yes. They accept the pain in their lives, fearing that resisting would only make things worse. Yoshiki takes advantage of their weak mindsets to control them. Yuki-san? No, this isn't right! Suppressing all your hopes and dreams, living in fear, crying every day. 
Can you really call that living? Somewhere deep inside, I know you realize things can't go on like this. Don't be afraid to fight. Take a stand beside us. <sighs> but we still... We have to think about... Just stop it! You can't keep... Arena, would you let me? Hoshiro? My friend here's quite dependable, but she has a tendency to be quick to passion. Look, I'm afraid of fighting too. And being told to do so when you're already in a powerless position is absurd. Those who already possess strength will tell you not to be afraid, and that you need to stand up for yourselves. Hey, that's not what Arena said! Wait, let's see how Toshiro handles this. I understand very well how you all feel. For a long time, I was more of a coward than anyone. I was always looking for an excuse not to fight. In fact, the fear is still there. And if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I'd much rather prefer not to fight. That's exactly how we feel. We just want to keep things as they are. But then, I decided to take a stand. Because no matter how badly, I want to run from my fear. I don't want to lie to myself anymore. Oshiro. Oh, <laughs> I'm not telling you to be strong. There may not even be a need for you to fight beyond your means. But at the very least, why not make an attempt to stop lying to yourselves? <laughs> and after, if you still feel a desire to change the present, we're ready to do so alongside you. Those you see here with me have hearts of great strength. They will grieve and rage and give their all to fight for those who suffer. If you help us today, I promise you they will do the same. Right, Joker? Oh, jeez. Read the room, why don't you? Indeed. Although I wouldn't be opposed to a belly full of rice balls. Me when you say that. That's all I had to say to you. The rest you'll have to decide of your own accord. There's no need to make a decision right now, but I would like you to give it some thought. <clears throat> I appreciate you taking the trouble to come out here. Now I'm sure you're all quite exhausted, so please rest up and. <laughs> I want to help. You're. I. I'm afraid of fighting too. But like that gentleman said, I don't want to go on living a lie anymore. If we don't take the opportunity given to us now, I don't see us getting another one. I'm more afraid of that than I am of any pain I might be put through by Lord Yoshi. Yeah, I see your point. You'll still have us. We're willing to help. Really? I'll spread the word to everyone else who lives in the area. This time, I'll ask them to try putting their faith in you. Everyone, I'm sorry. No, that's not right. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. <sighs> not bad, Toshiro. You had me worried for a moment there, but by the end, I was hanging on your every word. Yeah, I guess the art of persuasion comes with the job, huh? No, it's not like that. I was the kind of politician who only read off scripts other people prepared for me. What you saw just now... I was only speaking my mind. Hmm. And that means your words really connected with them. I don't know about that. It's very possible they were just swept up in the moment. <sighs> So, what's our next move? You've got a plan up your sleeve, right, Toshiro? Yes. If we want to get into Yoshiki's castle, first we need to do something about the cameras and security. As I previously mentioned, that's going to require some extensive preparation, but... Yuki-san, the Aizen Squad has other posts besides the base we freed these people from, correct? Yes. It's very likely they're forcing the citizens they've captured to work inside them. Then we'll head to those first. We need to save those people, too. You said we needed manpower, right? We'll be killing two birds with one stone by freeing everyone there. Plus, the cameras around here shouldn't be back online for a while. 
so it should be a little easier to creep around unseen. All right, then, it's settled. Our targets are the remaining bases. We're going into enemy territory, so make sure you're ready for anything. What you're saying is... see it now, but soon you will know what you must do in this world. I'm certain you will find the answer. This place honestly feels hot. Would you like to create a weapon? Are you finished? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would what would you like to do? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? Are you finished? Do you wish to perform a fusion? Now then, make your decision.
Is this persona? One moment, please. What would you like to do? What would you like to do? Which persona will you what would you like to which persona what would you like to do which persona will you choose what would you like to which persona will you choose what would you like which persona will you choose what would you like to do which persona will you choose what would you like to do which persona will you choose Are you finished? The awakening of a new... Now then, make your... Which persona will you choose? Is this persona acceptable? Please wait just a moment. Is this persona one moment, please? Is this persona? Please wait just a moment. Now then, make your decision. Is this for one moment, please? What would you like to do? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you- Are you finished? Until next time. Listen! Hmm. Not exactly. Yes. Is that so? But... Hmm.
Ah. Uh... But. Ah. However. I see. Hey. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Huh. Thank you. That's right. Ah. Time to write. 